In this lesson, we'll take a look at some of the unique properties found on the Metal Ray Fast Subsurface Shader X. So this particular shader is just a simple variant of the standard Fast Shader. This is a variant that was introduced in Maya 2008. Now as far as the actual attributes that are found between the Fast Shader and the Fast Shader X, there are really no differences as far as the actual attributes found between these two. The only difference is that the Fast Shader X does have the ability to write out multiple frame buffers. So with this particular shader we do have the ability to write out special uh, separate files for things like the backscattering color. We can have a separate pass for the forward scattering, specular, and so on and so forth. Now as far as actually working with this particular shader we do have a couple ways of doing this. We could actually start from scratch by uh, building all of our sub our actual subsurface shaders using this fast shader or we could actually take any of our simple fast shaders these may have come from previous versions of Maya or you may just find yourself beginning to work with these but we do have the ability to actually upgrade and convert any of our fast shaders into the shader X variant so we can find this if we take a look inside the fast shader expand the upgrade shader uh, pull down menu and we can either upgrade this to the Fast Shader X or the Fast Shader X passes. So in our case, we can convert this to the Fast Shader X. You notice the conversion happens, and now this is an X variant of the material, and it does still maintain all of the connections that were coming into it. So as far as the usability of this X variant, uh, we would have to use something like a, some kind of a custom frame buffer to actually write out the information that we need. Now, if you're using Maya 2008, the ability to actually write out those frame buffers is not built into Maya 2008, or the nodes that you would need are not found. So you would either need to use some kind of a third-party plugin to write those out. Um, however, if you're using Maya 2009 or higher, we do have the ability within the application to write these out. So this can be done with the use of a custom color frame buffer. So in the lesson where we actually talk about the custom color frame buffers, we'll see exactly how this can be used to write out the different pass information that can come from the X variant of any of these materials. And you'll notice that there are several of them. We have the Phenomena X, the Phenomena X Passes, Paint X, Material X, and Fast Shader X. Right. So in the lesson, again, as we uh, talk about the custom color frame buffers, we'll see how we can use that to write out this information. All right, so that's just a quick overview and just a quick verbal explanation of some of the differences between this Fast Shader X and the simple Fast Shader.